And, and, and this is what I've noticed over the years. Guys, they come along, they, do, they train with me, they crush the fucking ego, they don't give a fuck what anyone thinks anymore, so they, of course they can talk to women and whatever, so most of them get girlfriends within a few weeks, they get a girlfriend. Even though I tell them, don't get a girlfriend, practice your skills, don't get a girlfriend right away. How many times I said, look, just, just for like one year, don't have a girlfriend, date some women, don't get a girlfriend right away. Six months later, I get an email. How many times? Sasha, you know, I fucked up, man. I got a girlfriend in like two months, and we were together for like a few months, and I got really needy, and I stopped doing approaches, I stopped doing all the social freedom stuff, and uh, yeah, now she broke out with me, and I fucking have to, can't talk to anyone. You got a girlfriend right away, didn't you? Yes. Even though you had a girlfriend, and I said, even if you get a girlfriend, you can keep doing socially awkward things and pushing your boundaries and, and, and crushing your ego. No, I stopped doing the exercise. Okay, all right. How many times? So, so the pattern I kept seeing, and I didn't even understand why it was happening. Guys would do the course, they'd get a girlfriend or they'd, they'd start dating women, and then within months they'd say, oh yeah, I quit my job and I finally started a business and I'm making money doing what I love. And I'd be like, oh, that's nice. I didn't even understand why that kept happening. People just, their whole lives, people started working out, losing extra weight, starting businesses, leaving their countries. I got students living in Thailand, Singapore, all over the fucking world emailing me. One guy quit university, German actually, I, I wish he was here, I think he's still in Thailand. He, he, was, he was taking some fucking course because he thought he needed an education to make money and he'd been in it for years. He realized he could do whatever the fuck he wanted because he stopped caring what his parents and everyone else thought. He quit. I think he lived with his parents for a while. He started writing articles about dating and other topics. Uh, he focused on the articles, ma made, started making money. He got to the point he was making a thousand euros a month. He fucking moved to Thailand with his girlfriend and rent there, you can live there for less than a thousand. And then he literally lives in Thailand with his hot Asian girlfriend writing articles, which he loves doing. That's where he lives now. That's why he's not here. Because he's in Thailand. That's why he's not here. Okay? That's normal. You can't go back to sleep. Once you start winning that war and you start realizing who you really are and you're not this, you can't go back to pretending that your ego is in control. It's not in control. You're in control. The moment you decide you're in control. And once you start being in control, holy shit, everything changes. For me, the most amazing thing about the events is just the vibration, like the vibe in the room. It's, it's unbelievable. You show up to the event as an individual and you leave like a brother, like all these guys have your back and that's for life, you know? That's what blows me away every time. And the stories I hear afterwards are, are, are insane, you know? I ran into a guy recently and it, well, it wasn't the first time, somebody who had a really good time at our first event and I was like, dude, you know, you never came back, you know, what, what happened? And the guy just looked at me and was like, I need to come back because I, I, I got what I wanted after the event, like, I got it. He was so inspired, he actually went and built the life that he wanted and he, and he just said, he said, I have it, I'm happy. The most important thing was just meeting a whole bunch of really, really cool guys that I can connect with, stay in touch with. It's such an awesome event that I'm definitely planning on coming back in the future when they have one. And I've just met some the most incredible people here, man. It's just been out of this world. And I think everyone I've spoken to would agree with that. It's been a really beautiful experience connecting with other people, black-minded people, which are hard to, I find hard to meet in the outside world. I've never seen so many amazing guys just helping each other, supporting each other 100%. It's unbelievable. There's so much support, love, and unity, like all these guys just coming together who really want to see each other succeed. And when you leave, you leave as part of a family.